What a great movie. Oh, Jamal, thank you. Um, thank I'm you. I'm wondering, like, was the timing of this movie centered around the, the way the world was at the time? And it felt like it needed Mary Poppins to come save save us all for uplift our spirits? Is that Jamal, that's it? such a perfect way to say it. I mean, yeah. honestly, thank you. Um, it's exactly what I was thinking and exactly why I wanted to make this film. I really felt that we needed her to come back. I mean, when the door opened to the possibility of making this film because the rights had been so famously hard to get because mm -hmm. of the P.L. Travers estate, I felt like this was the perfect time that, to see her again, for her to return and have her inject us in th this world today with some hope, you know, yeah. some light. Yeah. and. Um, and that was the intention. That was my honestly my guiding force throughout the whole film. It's to to take the beautiful spirit of that first film, and 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 sort of take it into this film. Even though we were creating a new story and an original musical, I wanted it to be this companion piece with this gorgeous first film, and and let us maybe see, you know, life through a child's eyes again. Yeah. Bucks and mares, cubs and does, welcome to our show of shows. It is my great honor to introduce this evening's renowned guest, the one, the only, Mary Poppins! Thank you, thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Come on! No, no, no. Come on up! Silly chap. Go. No, I haven't sung in years. Sing for us, Mary Poppins. Do sing for us. No, I couldn't possibly. D flat major. Yeah, and I loved all the new music, but I have to ask. Sure. Super califragilistic. Yes. Yes. What's, what's, what's the story? Like that, just because you was going a whole new direction. Yes. That, that didn't. Appear. I just feel like you know that was so perfectly done in the first film, and I didn't want to. You know, it's so it was so it would have been so easy to sort of do that and. And, but I feel like that lives in that film, and so we need to take some things from the first film, like the spirit of the first film, the idea of an animation live action sequence, or a big production number like Trip, A Little Light Fantastic, that kind of thing. But there were things that I thought were sacred mm -hmm. that you don't touch. It's so perfect, Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke singing that incredible Sherman Brothers song. But you know what we were able to do or it, it, you know, with this beautiful original score is kind of try and create our own exciting musical moments you know, yeah, yeah. that hopefully will live on. And I think as people get to hear this music, and they'll start to sort of embrace it as sort of the new, you know, the new exciting music. So yeah. hopefully. That's what, <laughs> what did you see in Emily Blunt that, that give, gave you the, the Julie Andrews vibe or that, that she could play this character like? What, what was mm. it, what was it about Emily that gave you well, I just, Mary Poppins more than you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just feel like she's um, first of all, she's the only person I could think of on the planet to play this role because there's so many requirements for the part. You know, you really need to be a great actress because it's very layered. This mm -hmm. role, you know, she has a very sort of stern facade, you know, proper nanny, but underneath that, there's this warmth and humor that she brings, uh, some vulnerability, like a real human beating heart under there. And you have to sort of reveal those in sort of layers. Um, plus she can sing, yeah. you know, and dance, and she's British, you know, <laughs> sort of like, it was like the perfect combination of everything. And I, I was, and I love her personally. I mean, she's such a good friend. Yeah. I love working with her and we really get each other. So to have her, I mean, honestly, I, I don't think I would have made the film without her. Mary Poppins seems to come in this home where they're dealing with loss and dealing with, you know, potentially losing their house and kind of yes. kind of like saves their spirit and uplifts them. Yes. I wonder when Rob Marshall has hit hard times or tough times, like what do you do to mm. to uplift yourself? Like is it something wow. that you You know what I try and do? I try I mean, I actually films help me. You know, the the movies from my youth or movies that mean a lot to me. Just that, you know, because I, I, that, I've always loved films in a very deep way. I think a lot of people do, but especially ones that really can lift you and take you away. And, and, I, and you know, I know, for instance, at Christmas time, you know, I'll be watching White Christmas. You know, I'll be watching It's a Wonderful Life. These yeah. movies that I love to revisit because they lift you. And, and I, I'm hoping that's what this film does for people. I hope it people, it can be lifted out of their, whatever their, you know, issues are, whatever, you know, loss they have or, or, or sadness they feel, maybe this can inject a little hope. 
I think it will. Oh, I hope you're right. <laughs> so keep on making movies. Thanks, we'll Jamal. Aren't that. you nice? Thank, Thank you. you so much in your Happy stylish holidays. sweater and pants. <laughs> <laughs> Good Goodness. Perfect.